Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier, this is a piracy show, and let's keep going. Now, yesterday, of course, we talked about the Polaris. Today, I was going to do an amalgamated episode where I put all the, basically, career ships in together. The Crucible, the Reclaimer, the Orion, so on and so forth, and talk about all of them in one episode. But the Reclaimer kind of stands out on its own, and for one very special reason, not just because it's my personal favorite of those ships, is the Reclaimer has actually been in production for just about a year and is apparently completed. For the last seven or eight months, we've been treated to shots of the progress with the Reclaimer, not just the internals, but the externals as well. We've been seeing this ship come together for quite some time and the production window within which the ship was supposed to be built actually ended on September the 9th of this year, which kind of barring, you know, an official announcement from CIG kind of makes it finished or at least as far as we know, it has been completed. Now, the Reclaimer, of course, is a salvage ship. And so having it been put in production this early along kind of means that it is probably going to be released along with the salvage system. So 3.0, probably 110% out of the question. But in a short time thereafter, when salvage comes online, chances are you're going to see this ship as well. Now, when the Reclaimer was first concept sold back in 2014, yeah, 2014, um, it represented kind of a shift in the way that ships were being designed in Star Citizen. Up till then, there was a lot of attention paid to, does it fit the designer profile? Does it have the right lines? Does it have the right look? If you see it, do you go, ooh, that's obviously an Aegis ship? No, in fact, if I were to tell you an Aegis ship, you would say, Really? Because it doesn't look like anything from the Aegis line, from the Vanguard to the Retaliator. It looks completely different, and that's because it is an industrial ship. It's not built for combat. It's built for deep space exploration and salvage. This is a ship that is meant for going out into deep space. It is, it is meant for players who want to play as salvagers and explorers who want to go out and find the hidden or lost treasures in the Star Citizen universe and then scrap them for cash. Now, if you want to go out into deep space to go find these hidden treasures, you're going to need a long range jump drive and the Reclaimer comes equipped standard with a long range jump drive. But once you're out there, you're going to need to find all of these hidden treasures wherever they might be and the reclaimer does come equipped with a deep space scanner so it can find not only active ships but derelict ships that may not be creating that much of a signature it has to be able to find these wrecks so that it can in fact scrap them now, while you're out there in deep space, you know, hunting for wrecks and looking for whatever you can find to make a buck, you do run the risk of somebody attacking you. And this ship does come equipped with what seems to be a pretty hefty defense in terms of it has two medium shield generators and one large shield generator, according to the latest stat sheet. Also, in terms of armaments, it has one large turret featuring two size five guns and then six smaller turrets each featuring two size three guns giving it more of an anti-fighter type defense than an anti-capital but it still represents a fairly tough nut to crack now the armaments themselves are spread out around the ship to create more of a defensive web around the ship and protect the ship rather than to be used offensively let's say in a situation where if a lot of the guns were arranged firing forward if the ship was meant to be used for attack but it's not it's meant as a defensive measure and this is once again not an offensive military vessel where you would need that type of configuration 
Now, one of the most pronounced features on the ship, of course, is the large forward grasping claw, which goes out and grasps onto a ship or derelict. And then there's two smaller cutting arms, which extend out of that, which you can then use to manipulate the wreck, cut it open, take out the components you want, or pull apart pieces to be scrapped within the ship itself. And yes, within the ship, you can go and see the actual cutting room where those pieces are chopped up and chunked into scrap metal and then stored in a secondary cargo space that is used solely for all that scrap metal, of which it can hold quite a lot. Now, unlike a lot of the ships that we talk about, the Reclaimer is a ship that is right on the cusp of being completed. I mean, here it is. Now, some of this footage is going back to May and June and a little bit even before then. This is a ship that has been well along for a while now and is on the cusp of being delivered to the players. Now, once again, that is probably going to come along with the salvage system being put in the game. So 3.0, highly unlikely, but in a subsequent release, you're likely to see this ship and be able to use it. So one of the reasons why a lot of people kind of get impatient when they're waiting for their ship is they want to take it out there and experiment with it, see what it can do and what it can't do. And it's a lot easier to stomach finding out what your ship can't do when you're still before that point in the game's development where everything counts and all of a sudden one day, boom, all of a sudden you have to worry about there are no more resets. If I lose my ship, this could really cost me. And it's going to be a lot easier to figure those things out in a ship before that actually happens. And that's why a lot of people kind of get a little edgy and a little bit nervy saying, when's this ship going to be done? When's this ship going to be done? Because they want to go out and start experimenting with it and figuring out what the limits are. And with a ship like this, this is a ship that is right on the cusp of delivery. It's built for a specific purpose, and it's built very well for that purpose. It's not a ship that you look at and you say inherently, there, here are things that might be wrong with it, or here are things that you may not have thought of which could complicate operating this ship. This is a ship that from the ground up is very well thought out and very well planned, so it looks like a ship that is going to be very easily something that is going to impress the owners not just in the state of the art assets as you can see but in the practically minded design that went into it so realistically in the end what do you get for the reclaimer apart from a couple of toothbrushes well what you get is a ship that gives you the range and the capacity to go out and explore a lot of the star citizen universe right off the bat it's a ship that is built around a certain money-making career, that being scrapping derelicts and salvaging components and then selling them on. So it's a ship that's built around a profession. It is the end game ship in that profession. Well, frankly, right now, the only purpose built ship in that profession as well. Now, the original concept sale price of the Reclaimer was $325, and the last sale price that we saw, which was the anniversary sale last year, was $350. Now, that's kind of a whopping chunk of change, but if you've already been investing in Star Citizen or you've been purchasing ships and you have a certain amount of equity already built up in the game, you can CCU to this ship for what, depending on your situation, could be a negligible cost if this is the direction that you'd like to head in the universe. Now, there are other sales where these ships tend to come up. So you might say, well, you know, I like the look of this ship. Maybe I'll think about it. I'll wait till it comes out. But the next sale that this ship will likely see is its flight ready sale. And usually when the flight ready sale happens, the price goes up. So if this is something that you're really thinking about seriously, now might be the time to pick it up because the next time you see this for sale, it's probably going to be the flight ready sale, at which time it could be as high as $400 for the ship or 375, who knows, but definitely it's going to cost more. 
So there you go. There is a brief look at the Aegis Reclaimer, one of my, if not my favorite ship in the Star Citizen universe. And CIG, if you're listening, hopefully we'll see it very, very soon. Also, by the way, if, if you're actually listening to this, you know what would be a really good idea is if like you had an option with this ship to take the claw off of it and hang like a giant quad turret. Like a giant quad turret right underneath where the gun or where the claw used to be. Something with like size 7 gun. Something that would just really tear it up. Something really badass. And also if I could paint a giant skull and crossbones right across that flat area on the front. I mean if you're listening I think that would be just a really great idea. I mean I think we should really